Devon. It's a name that strikes fear into the heart of every software engineer and computer science student. It's just one letter away from being the devil, and about eight months ago I made a video warning programmers that Devon was coming, and coming to take your gerb, because it's a fully automated junior engineer that can build, test, and ship code better than 74.2% of humans. Well today I have the unfortunate responsibility to tell you that Devon finally came, and now your manager can hire Devon for just $500 per month, and fire all those unreliable code monkeys who cost up to 100 times more. Usually you get what you pay for, but in today's video, we'll find out if Devin is the real deal, or just the latest overhyped chat GPT wrapper in the AI Sloppiverse. It is December 13th, 2024, and you're watching The Code Report. It's been a crazy week for AI, mostly because every product manager out there needs to ship something before the end of Q4 to hit their KPIs. OpenAI released their generative video model, Sora, but then almost immediately turned off account creation, likely because generating video is extremely compute intensive. Meanwhile, character AI is being sued by the parents of an autistic teenager because the chatbot told the kid to terminate the parents after they tried to limit her screen time. Then Google released Gemini 2.0 with a feature called Mariner to take control of your browser and a feature called Jules to write and ship your code, an idea very similar to Devon. When I first heard Devon was released, I was terrified, but was relieved when I heard it get stuck in Vim just like the rest of us. Then immediately after launch, it had a critical security incident where one of its prime members exposed a VS Code LiveShare URL, allowing anyone to use Devon's machine. It was resolved quickly though because Devon can use Devon to fix it itself. It's technology. That made me Devin curious, so I went to the onboarding page to try it out, but was shocked when they hit me with the $500 per month entry fee. However, if we look at the pricing, it's based on something called agent compute units, and it all works out to about $8 per hour, which is a great deal for a software engineer. But they're really vague about what Devin actually is. There's no benchmarks, no nutrition facts, no scientific papers, just the name Devin. In Devin we trust though, because its company, Cognition Labs, recently raised $175 million at a $2 billion valuation. I am a very rich. That puts a ton of pressure on a young startup with no revenue in a highly competitive field, but we do know that they have their own models using proprietary data, that proprietary data likely being your GitHub repos, but apparently Devin's even better at writing code than OpenAI's O1. That's based on their own internal trust me bro benchmark, which I'm sure is based on rigorous science and definitely has nothing to do with their recent product launch. Unfortunately, I'm currently broke because I just paid $200 for ChatGPT Pro, but luckily I found someone who was stupid or I mean brave enough to buy it. I paid the $500 a month to use Devon. And that means I can put food on my family this Christmas. In fact, that person is not stupid at all. It's the CEO of Builder.io, Steve. And I'd highly recommend you subscribe to his channel if you're into software development. The first weird thing to know about Devon is that it's not an AI IDE like Cursor, and you can only interact with it via Slack. That's a weird design choice that wouldn't appeal to 99% of developers, but remember this is a tool for non-programmers to replace programmers, and they want to appeal to those big enterprise workers who spend most of their time in Slack. Now in Slack, you can tag Devon, and tell it to do something that you'd normally need to wait four weeks for a developer to fail doing. And that'll spin up a workspace that includes a shell, browser, and editor, where it can write, run, and end-to-end -end test the code, and ultimately send a pull request to GitHub to push it to production. And what's kind of cool about it is that you can follow along step-by-step -step in this planner. Along the way, it'll create these things called knowledge entries to give it the proper context of everything your team is working on. And I think we can trust Steve when he says that it writes pretty good code, but not perfect code. Like it was able to take an open-source image generator run it, and bring the result all the way back to Slack. That's cool, and he also had it build a new feature into an existing app. And it wrote pretty decent code, although it had typical AI quirks like unnecessary packages. But with Devin, you can also go to GitHub and add comments to the pull request, and it will then fix these issues. Although later, Devin was asked to fix a bug in some existing code. It did kind of fix it, but changed some other things in weird ways. And when he asked for an explanation, it hallucinated some nonsense. Most of this information is not actually true. It appears to suffer from the same issue of every other AI tool, where it works a lot better on established things like React.js, but then fails on superior but less popular tools like Svelte. Despite being rough around the edges, Devon is still quite impressive. Nothing even close to this existed just a year ago, but the main problem for me is the Slack-based workflow. And it's kind of hilarious that a company with Gen Z co-founders decided to build their product on Boomer Discord. I for one can't wait to be made obsolete by Devon, but if you're a developer who wants to build a future with AI, one open source tool you need to know about is PGAI, created by Timescale, the sponsor of today's video. Timescale is a database built directly on top of Postgres that supports time series data with extremely fast queries that use less compute. But they recently released another amazing open source tool called PGAI Vectorizer. It can transform your unstructured text into semantically aware embeddings without the need for manual syncing or custom pipelines. And that means building AI systems like RAG or recommendation engines can be done easily at the database level. Not only does it simplify development, 
development, but you also get incredible performance as a side effect. You can self-host PGAI in any Postgres database, or better yet, try it out on Timescale Cloud using the link below. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.